Hi guys, it's Jamie and today I have a haul for you and it is going to be some Lush products, some Sephora, some Benefit, just a bunch of random stuff. Um, most of the stuff I got yesterday when I went shopping. A few things I had got maybe like a week ago, but just a couple things I thought they were worth mentioning. Um, so let's start with the Sephora and the first thing was one of their little steals that they have at the counter and it's the NARS eyeshadow in Silent Night and it was only $9 so I thought I would pick that up and it's this really pretty gold color. I love the name for Christmas, Silent Night. I'm just going to do a quick swatch of this with this, um, it's actually a Stila brush, it's the number 30 and I love this for my crease. This is like a really good brush and I like it because the bristles are black. But this is Silent Night. It's like a really pretty kind of gold color. And I love how cute this little eyeshadow is. It's a lot of eyeshadow, but I just think it's such a cute little compact. And then I got one of the new NARS eyeshadows in Taiga, Taiga, I don't know. But it's T-A-I-G-A. -A. I don't know, but it's these really pretty kind of like golden green colors. They look like this. They're so pretty. I'm wearing them today. And I'll do a swatch for you guys. So there's the light color in the middle there and that kind of dark green color on the end. I just really like this eyeshadow color, that little duo I thought was really pretty. And then I haven't opened this yet, but I got the Givenchy Phenomenize and Gloss Interdit. I don't know. This is this little set together for $28. I wanted to try this mascara. The mascara tube is really pretty. It looks like this. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. This may end up on one of my product misses videos. Here's what the little ball looks like. Givenchy, I'm going to say Givenchy, so whatever. This is their um, little duo. And then this is the little glass it came with, and it is teeny tiny. Oh, but it has a nice brush applicator. It's very pigmented for a lip gloss. So there's that little set by Givenchy, Givenchy, whatever. I can't wait to try it. I'll let you guys know. I'm not sure. I never used it before. And then I got the Kors Lip Butter in Jasmine, which looks like this. It was $9. Also from Sephora. I love the packaging. It's a little box that slides in and out like this. I also like the way this little pot looks. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You guys didn't see I've used this one, so I can tell you that I really like it. I like the texture. I like the color. I'm wearing it now, and I plan on bringing it out with me tonight, so I'm excited um, about this lip butter. I really like it. And then another thing that I got, not yesterday, but recently, it came in the mail. It is the Lancome Juicy Tube in the Rose Fishnet. I love the packaging. I love this color. It's a really pretty, like, kind of rose color with like a gold shimmer. It's really pretty. You guys can see, it's like a gorgeous color. It was like a little set, because it's Christmas and they're doing all these sets. It came with a little um, lip pencil, which I really don't like. I think it's like way too dark for the lip gloss. There it is underneath. I don't really like it. I think if you were interested in this, you could just go ahead and buy this by itself. I don't think this set is necessary with this little pencil because I really don't like it, but I love this lip gloss. It is so, so pretty. So after Sephora, I went to my benefit counter at Macy's to see what the deal was with the FYI eye primer. And the girl said that they discontinued it. They may be bringing it back in spring. That they're using the Honey Bun Creaseless Eyeshadow in place of it right now. And that if I spent $50, I would get a free FYI. Because that's what they said. she said that they were doing with the discontinued ones. They pulled them from the rack and they were giving them as a free gift. So she just gave it to me like this. No box or anything. She just tossed this in my bag. You also got a double-sided lip gloss. I've used it a couple times. I really don't like the, that little stopper pulls too much of the product off. But I can do a swatch for you guys. So this is the like cranberry color called Friends in High Places. And then this is Zone Out. So there are those two right there. It's like a pretty cranberry and champagne color. And I like the idea of this double-sided. I think it's cute. And I love their boxes. They always have such cute boxes. So I got the FYI in this for free. And then what I bought to get that was the um, Throb Blush. I used to have a couple of these. I had the Dandelion and Georgia Peach in high school. I don't know what happened to them. But I thought I would try this because it was like a pretty pinky kind of almost purple tone pink. And I'm really into like purpley kind of blushes right now. And these smell so pretty. They kind of like a florally scent. I don't know. They smell really good. So there is Throb. 
Something about these blushes too, when you put them on, that it kind of like blurs the size of your pores. It doesn't make them go away, but it does kind of make it look smaller. I don't know if that's just me, but I kind of feel like that with this blush. And it's got kind of like a silver sparkle in there. And all their little blush box sets come with these like super cute little brushes. And then I got another Instabrow pencil. I was running low, here's mine. You can see it's pretty short right now. And I just, I use this on my eyebrows. This is all I use. I really like it. I think it's like the perfect color. And I like it because it's like a wax and it really isn't too dark. It kind of just works to hold your eyelashes in place like kind of with a tint. So here's the full size one, and there is mine. And then when I got one of their creaseless eyeliner, cream liner, shadows, whatever you want to call it, in um, skinny jeans. I think it's like a pretty kind of pewtery gray color. So there is skinny jeans. And then a while ago from Benefit, I got this Limp Plump, so I thought I would mention it now. I do like this. I do not think it really plumps my lips, but I do like it for blanking out color, especially if you have like really red lips. Like that's my case. Sometimes I just like to blank out the red in my lips. So there, that is right there. And it's kind of got more of like a silky satiny finish to it. Um, it does a little bit fill in lines and cracks, not completely, you're not going to get a complete fill from this. I think it works best with the Benefit lip glosses compared to like my MAC or anything else. And it will change the color of your lipstick a little bit to more of like a new tone just because of the pigment in this. But in my case, I find that okay because my lips are so red. So um, I would definitely play with this product at the counter before you buy it for yourself. For me, I like it not for plumping lips, but for blanking out my color. I don't use it with all my lip products, but with some. So I, I do like this lip plump from Benefit. So that's it. Then I went to MAC. I got two brush cleaners, one for my cousin, one for my mom, because I got them each the Pink Complete Sigma brush kits for Christmas. My recommendation of Tiffany D, so I'm super excited about that, giving them those brush sets and seeing how they like them. I got them the brush cleaners to go with their brush sets for Christmas and of course I had to get a few eyeshadows for myself but it was really good. I only got three so this will just be quick and I'm not going to do swatches because I haven't even taken them out of the package yet but I got Pink Freeze which is a really frosty pink color and then I got Cranberry which is a really pretty cranberry color and then I got Scene. Just because it's more of a purple base gray and I wanted to use it with some more of my purple colors and not let those kind of get like neglected. And since I've been wearing a lot of grays, I thought this would be good. So that's pretty much all I got from MAC. So lastly, I went to Lush. I just got very few things from there. I got a um, refill of my King of Skin. I love this. I love to have one of these on hand. I used it today, so it's one use old, but I got it yesterday. I love the way this smells, and I just love this. It eliminates the step of having to put lotion on after the shower, and I think that's why I like it so much. And then I got a bigger size of my Rehab Shampoo, because I love this shampoo. I love the way it makes my hair. It doesn't really leave its minty kind of scent behind, but I really do. I just love this shampoo from Lush, so I got the bigger size than I had before. And then I needed to get um, a refill on my toner. I had the smaller size before so I picked the big one I grabbed it off the shelf took it home and realized gross I grabbed a tester so I'm definitely gonna be taking this back and I really like it to exchange it for a non tester one but um, yeah be careful when you're there not to do that <laughs> and the last thing I got was a little pre-wrapped gift for my cousin's stocking and I love this one from Lush it's got fairy tale and yummy yummy in it and I love the name of it you shall go to the ball so I just thought it was really cute, especially for someone who takes showers. I think it's got the sugar scrub in there, which is kind of like a fun product to use, especially for someone who's a little bit younger. I think they could get into like crumbling that up and using it that on themselves in the shower. And I love the yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells so good. So I think she's really going to like this. Another gift I got for someone was the Helping Hands. I got the little pump on purpose because my aunt works in a hospital. She's a nurse. I think this is good for anyone to get at Christmas time who works in the medical feel. You don't have to splurge to get the bigger tub. Opt for the small one because it's easier to keep sanitary. And the girl at my lush told me that um, they made these to fit in lab coat pockets and smack pockets and things. So that is the Helping Hands Pump. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't done one in a while so I thought I would and tie into some Christmas things and some things I like and repurchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bye!